right, here we go. Welcome back. This is Bobby Jeezy and Heezy coming to you straight out of Rikes Billiards in Sanford, Florida. We got a super match up here for you guys. Uh, and this is a, uh, a loser's bracket match, by the way. Jesus Atencio, Fargo 784 versus Dennis Grabi, Fargo 793. And here we go. Lag for the break. Looks like Jesus, maybe? Yep, I believe Jesus just barely snags that one. Very nice lag from both guys. Couldn't have been more than an inch off the rail, I wouldn't think. Well, on a good note, I am out of both events. So uh, with that being said, you guys should have a commentator for the rest of the event at least. All right, so here we go. Jesus Atencio, first break, race to seven, loser's bracket action. This is uh, 10 ball, call all your shots. Standard uh, 10 ball rules, all ball fouls. 10 on the break does not count in the bottom two corners. Alternate breaks. Very nice break. And ends up with nothing on the one ball. I mean, three balls on the break and can't even see the one ball. It's very unfortunate there for Jesus. So he'll be looking at uh, pushing out. Not really a good way, uh, a good place to push out. Because being that all the balls are pretty much on the right side of the table, it's going to be uh, it's going to have, probably have to be a kick shot because if he leaves any kind of the edge of the one ball, Dennis is going to be able to come to the table and uh, just thin the one and send the cue ball all the way around the table and use these uh, balls as blockers. So he's really trying to get this ball frozen to the rail. And that's not quite going to be enough. So then it's going to come to the table. And he's going to go ahead and call it. It's kind of a two-way shot. If he doesn't make it, the cue ball is going to be way down here where the two ball is. But he's uh, he's pointing at it like he's uh, he's got his eye on this ball. So he's he is certainly trying to make this ball. But I do believe he will try to do a, uh, a two-way out of it just in case he does miss it. But he's really trying to make this ball. And he does, and hits it perfect. Absolute perfect. Nicely done. So I expect him to go here, back out here for the four, which will go right here. Get anywhere close to straight on this four, that way you can just draw it back a few inches for the five in the same pocket where the two ball's going. I think uh, he'll be quite happy with that. See how he lays uh, lays out here for this four ball. I think that's pretty close to uh, what I had. Not quite sure if he's straight in. If he is, then that'll be an easy, easy layup here. Just draw it back a few inches. If not, he'll have to force it to the, oh, double tap the cue ball. Wow, it's very unfortunate. Sure, Jesus is not mad at him one bit. And this becomes a real easy layout for uh, Jesus with ball in hand. So I expect him to get nice and straight on this six ball. Shoot the six up, up top corner and stop the cue ball dead in its tracks. Nope, he's got more room. Didn't look like he had that kind of room for the uh, for the six ball to go inside, but apparently he does. 
So he'll be swinging the cue ball three rails. Oh no, he's hitting all this ball, so just one rail. All right, he's probably just gonna stun this ball to the end rail and back up. I don't expect him to hit it slow. Hit with a little bit of inside. Didn't quite, didn't quite kill it quite enough, but he's still okay. And there you have it, Jesus Atencio. All right, here we go. Dennis Grabby to break. Rack number two, Charlie in this match, one to zero. It says a race to seven. All right, another solid break. Needs that two, yep. Two goes in and the one dressed up really nice. So uh, we got a really good layout here to get started with. Just swing this. Off the one, end up anywhere over here in this vicinity. Low left English, and there you go. Looks pretty good. Don't want to be on top of that ball. He hits this ball a little hard, so now he's going to be forced to uh, jack up because uh, the four doesn't go past the five down here. So he's going to be forced to, uh, I believe he's going to be forced to jack up Snatch this ball off the rail, like so. Can't slow roll it, you won't get anything out of it. So he's gonna have to force this ball. If nothing else, just center ball and just shoot it straight across like that. He does my first option and, and hits it, I mean, absolutely perfect. These guys are so good. You can tell they do this for a living, for sure. That's how good he hit that, that three ball. Got dead perfect on the four. Cue ball didn't move at all. All right, so not really sure what we're looking at here on the six ball, so we're fixing to find out. Not sure if it goes past the 10, but the way he's shooting it, it, it may have, it may go. Oh yeah, all right, looking at this angle, it definitely goes. All right, swing it one rail, one rail. Yep. Ooh. Hit that ball a little fat. He's trying to end up right here because he hit it fat. That's why he ended up where he's at. Either way, he should be okay with it. This is one of those just pick pick your pocket and 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 stay with it. He's going to be sending his cue ball to the side rail, drawing it to the side rail and back out to the middle of the table. I kind of figure he's going to put it over here and then draw the cue ball back out. If he doesn't like that, if he doesn't like it that way, he'll draw it with uh, bottom right and go this way with it. All right, so he just came straight, straight across like my first plan was. I really expected him to pull that ball up here somewhere to give him the angle on the eight to get to the nine. So now he's going to have to force this cue ball, which shouldn't be no problem for these guys. Basically the angle that he's got, I believe he can hit this ball with center with a touch of right English and it would have just jab it right here and the right's going to go like so. How you like that? And that is how you do it. Got a little straight on his uh, work here, but 
I think he's going to be okay. He's got just enough angle to really he's just going to punch this ball and draw it straight back or forward. It's one of those personal preferences. I actually like to draw the ball, so I probably would have drew it back. But either way, high or low, whatever you're good at, sink the ball in. It's all that matters, first and foremost. Make the ball. Long shot on the rail, and he sinks it in. Enough to tie this ball game up at one to one with Hester Satencio. We could be looking at a uh, hill hill thriller here, folks. This is exactly the kind of match we uh, we're paying to see, right? It suits Tensio to break, rack number three. Ooh, that ball was going towards the side pocket too. I believe the eight ball kicked it out instead and uh, made the eight instead of the, uh, the cue ball. And uh, doesn't look like Jesus Tensio has a, a whole lot here. I don't think the seven is wired in the side pocket. Let's take a look at it. Oh, that's the four ball, my bad. I don't think it goes. Not really for sure if he caught it or not. Oh, misses the one ball going in. That's definitely going to, uh, that's going to hurt. Kind of thought he might might do that. Two rails. I like the line. All right, looks like he has just enough angle to, to just do like a stun draw straight up. All right, yeah, a little more angle than I thought he had, but anyhow, he forced it up table. He's looking pretty good here. Now more than likely, uh, he got a pretty good bit of angle on this one, so I expect him to, to do it like so. He'd love to get straight in on this ball. I'm pretty sure that's what he's gonna do. Yep. To the T almost. All right, another one. He'll just kind of stun this ball if he's got. He looks like he might have a little angle, so he's probably going to push it to the rail and back out, as he does. And he's got the perfect line to go up table just a little bit. Just don't leave yourself on the rail. So he's probably going to force this cue ball to the rail to make sure he gets a bounce off of it. That's what a lot of people make a mistake in. Uh, too busy, uh, too busy focused on getting a shot on the nine. They forget that the. Uh, the cue ball is going towards the rail. So if you make the cue ball go to the rail, nine times out of 10, you know you for sure you're gonna get it to bounce off. All right, as it's Tensio, uh, give that one to Dennis. And Dennis has got the break, so this is a great opportunity if he can keep the cue ball on the table and make something and hopefully get, uh, get an opportunity to make a ball after the break. They have a real opportunity to take a two-game lead here.
All right, here we go. Solid break. I don't believe anything went in, and Jesus is going to have a wide open shot. An excellent shot here on the one ball. Um, as far as getting on the two, not really for sure. Okay, so he can probably draw around the seven. This is one of those shots. Um, it's a tweener. So he's pointing his cue right there. So he's looking at drawing his cue ball around the table because it's just too much traffic to try to hold it. Seven's in a way, big time. So if he draws it this way, he'll come out like this. Oh, and he had way too much draw on that ball. Is he going to get away with it? He sure is. All right. Certainly got away with that one. Now I believe he's just going to stun draw this one. Straight draw, and it'll come right here. He'd love to get straight in on this three ball. All right, he was going for the other, other side pocket. He didn't get there, but he's got straight in the corner. He's very fortunate to get that, uh, that gap in between the two balls there. And I'm pretty sure he was trying to play this three in the side pocket. And he's going to have to force this cue ball. Hits it really well. And he don't get straight in, but he's close enough. He'll be able to draw this cue ball off the rail. Just enough to get it away from those two balls right there and have a shot on the five. So he won't do a whole lot with it. Just like so. All right. I believe he's straight in on this ball. If he is, he'll just draw it straight back. And... Um, I would assume that he will probably play this six ball in the corner pocket right here. That means he needs to be right here. Yep, just like so. All right, so he'll, he'll stun draw this ball. He's not going to do a whole lot with it. He stun draws this ball, this vicinity right here. That'll give him the perfect angle to go pretty much any way he wants to go to get on the eight ball. Just got to make sure you, this is the game of angles. Always leave yourself an angle. When you leave yourself an angle, you have multiple uh, multiple options. When you leave yourself straight in, you can only go forward or backwards. And, and a lot of times, that doesn't really work for this game. See, like here, he uses the side rail. Bottom left English, spins the cue ball back out to the center of the table. You always got to remember, nine times out of ten, the center of the table is always going to be your best friend. And I believe he was playing this ball in the side pocket, but he ended up getting straight in the corner instead. So he'll shoot the ball in the corner and just draw it back a few inches, not risk too much. And uh, he ends up dead perfect on the ten ball, and Dennis Grobby is going to give it to him. So that's going to tie this ball game up once again. And I expect it to be like this all the way to the end. And hope you do too. Everybody, everybody enjoys a great match. And this definitely uh, ranks right up there with the best of them. Not a whole lot of mistakes going on right now. Dennis had that one. Jesus had one. Missing the uh, one ball a while ago going, going into it. Missed the whole ball. Got no rail. All right, so this is a race to seven. Jesus Atencio has to break. Rack number five, trying to get it done. Two to two. You need help? Yeah, we are. But Get with him. He he works for it. All the tables are full for sure. All right, Jesus, once again, scratches on the break. And uh, it's a good-looking break, too. So uh, Dennis Grobby should have no problem here. I think the, the toughest uh, obstacle in his way is going to be getting from the five to the six. Other than that, 
He's probably going to set up for the 6-10 combo inside pocket because it almost looks like it might be wired. Let's see if we can get a shot at it. It's hard to see the point of the side pocket, but either way, that's, uh, that's close enough. It's like first cousins, and he's looking at it right now, so I'm pretty sure that's exactly what he's going to be lining up for. He'll stop this ball right here. Uh, he likes to get, uh, he doesn't want to get straight in on the five ball. He needs a small angle right about where he just pointed. That will give him, give him the ability to hit bottom left English. Get anywhere where the seven ball is, and that's going to give him a nice shot on this 6-10 combo. He didn't quite get where he wanted to get, but he can still do a finesse draw. Extreme bottom English with, uh, with at least a full tip of left English. He won't be hitting it hard, but he'll be uh, he'll be spinning the crap out of the ball. He can just get anywhere past the side pocket line, and he goes all the way across. So he's he didn't want to make any uh, any mistakes trying to get tight position. So he just went ahead and swung it to the other rail because he knew he was going to get the bounce and and have an easy uh, combo here on the six ten inside pocket. And there you have it, Dennis Grabby, uh Takes advantage of another great break from uh, his opponent and giving him ball in hand. And Dennis has the break as well, so uh, he'll be breaking rack number six, and he's leading this match three to two. Good break. One's going in. Where's the two dressing up? All right. Dennis has uh, pulled off a pretty good break here. He's got a nice shot on the two. He's going to have to direct his cue ball. So I expect him to go two here. Cue ball should go here, here, and track this line right here. I do believe that he can uh, he can miss this seven ball. If he's close to straight in, he won't have to do that. If he's close to straight in, his cue ball is going to draw off right here. And he can even do it over there. I don't like doing it over there, but either way, it looks like that's what he's choosing to do. Oh, okay. So he did go straight in here, so I'm not really sure why he didn't draw it back, but... I guess he's okay with that, that line. So I believe he's got enough uh, enough of an angle here to draw this ball to the side rail. Just kind of do a punch stroke here. Straight draw. And that's pretty good. I believe he got, I believe he got perfection here actually. More than likely, he'll uh, he's going to have to weigh his options here. Does he want to go forward past the seven and take the cut on the five? Or does he want to try to uh, draw the cue ball around? So he's got a couple of options. If he goes forward, he'll be trying to get right here. That way, when he plays the five, he can go five here like so. If you don't like that, go do this. And what he's going to do is here, draw it over here, and get it back out here in this vicinity. <coughs> Just like so. All right. He came all the way down. There's nothing wrong with that either. The only reason why I didn't think he was going to go that far is because of the 8 and 10 balls there, but he can still go uh, high English. All 
All right. This is where uh, I missed the angle that one time on uh, Jesus, but I believe he could play this eight inside, but he doesn't have to. He can just stun the stun the seven and leave his cue ball right here. I believe that's what he's going to do, and he does. See, now he's just going to draw the ball out. Draw the ball out a few inches. Okay. It's all over but the crime, and uh, as Sue says, yep, that is good enough for him. And Dennis Grobby takes a two-game lead here against Jesus Atencio, leading this match 4-2, to two, going to seven. Jesus has definitely got his work cut out for him now.
crypto world is about to change, introducing AlphaCoin, the official cryptocurrency of billiards worldwide. It's the perfect solution for poor players and citizens to transact, store assets, invest and gain in multiple ways. Alpha is also the currency of Alphabets.com, the official billiards gaming site. Don't miss out. Invest, trade and win. Go to alphacoin.io to set up your wallet and get in on the action. With more than 300 million players worldwide, don't be controlled, be free, be an alpha. Wow, look at this. Such a nice shot. That's a brutal roll. Jesus says he's seen enough. Trailing this match. Six to two now. That's an ugly roll right there. A little too much power in that stroke. A little upset about that one. I don't blame him. This could be the end of his 10 ball tournament. 
What a stroke. All right, Jesus the break. Trying to stay alive here. Can't afford to lose not a single game. And can't afford not a single mistake. No more errors. And uh, Jesus just gave him that game. I thought that's what I just saw. Jesus just gave him that whole rack. Uh, never seen uh, Jesus uh, do something like that before. Not really sure. Uh, don't understand what happened on that deal. Not really sure why we do such a thing. But either way, Jesus concedes the match. Dennis Grabby wins seven to two. And uh, hmm, really strange. I never quit until the last ball's in the hole, as you guys can tell. All right, guys, that's going to be it there. So I'm going to go and. Uh, talk to the tournament director and see what else we got lined up here for the 10 ball. So give me a few minutes and I'll be right back. <laughs> 